We're going to yeah, talk about the multiple mass shootings that have occurred. Monterey Park, the death toll has risen to 11 in Monterey Park shooting, which apparently there, I mean, there multiple shootings have happened since then, uh, some of which in California, some of which also conducted by another like 67 year old Asian, 62 year old Asian dude this time. It's insane. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Oh, 67 year old? I don't know. Yes, there have been 38 mass shootings in the United States in the first 21 days of the year, according to the Gun Violence Archive, which describes a mass shooting as four or more people shot or killed, not including the shooter. This is just very odd. Good morning to you, Robin. You know, Monterey Park is indeed still reeling, as you felt when you were here with me just yesterday. Authorities here are still searching for a motive and looking into the dead suspect's relationships and his past, including two recent visits to a nearby police station where he made all sorts of bizarre allegations against his family. Stop! Oh, are you f kidding me again? No, that's insane. Every time, bro. Every time, these guys literally just openly state, like, they're crazy, unhinged, they're gonna do shit, and they tell the authorities, or the authorities are aware of it, only to just, what, turn around and be like, hey, we were aware of it, we were aware of this guy, what, 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 what more can you do, bro? There's no way he fucking turned himself in, and they were like, oh, man, uh, oops, how could we have stopped this guy? This morning, harrowing new details as authorities try to piece together what led to the senseless killing of 11 people at a dance studio in Monterey Park, California. Investigators combing through evidence and scouring the home of the suspected gunman, identified by authorities as 72-year-old Hu Can Tran. What the f Fuck, there's no shot. Someone on Wall Street Journal opinion in the immediate aftermath of the Monterey uh, Park murder mass shooting wrote, are there too many Asians? No, there's no way. It's changed now. China and the population bomb that wasn't. The author is the former White House director of speech writing. Jesus Christ, dude. Items that lead us to believe the suspect was manufacturing homemade firearm suppressors. Authorities adding that the firearm seen here on surveillance. Yeah, I, I watched this video. This video is all over TikTok now. Wrestled away from the suspect at a second dance hall was a nine millimeter semi-automatic assault weapon. Another handgun also found in his van. ABC News also learning a number of motives now being considered, including a potential domestic violence scenario. But investigators stress it's still too early in the probe to determine a more precise motive. We do not have a motive yet. There's a lot of stories coming forward. We're not ignoring any of them. Authorities say about 20 minutes after the shooting at Star Dance Studio, the suspect entered a second dance hall in neighboring Alhambra, where he encountered Brandon Say, who heroically wrestled the gun away. Say, opening up about that brutal altercation exclusively to Robin Roberts. When I got the courage, I, I lunged at him with both my hands, grabbed the weapon, and we had a struggle. We struggled into the lobby trying to get this gun. I don't know why they don't show the video. I don't know why they show only still imagery of this. The video is available on TikTok. I've seen it. It's actually fucking dope. Like he just literally takes it. He takes it out of his hands and he points it at him and says, I'll shoot you. You could tell he's like, he keeps pointing at him and going like, I'll shoot you. I'll shoot you. And, and uh, it basically gets him to run away. A video that makes cops look bad. Yes, 100%. Here, let's watch the, let's watch the surveillance footage. Now, one thing you can know, one thing that I immediately noticed is that it has like a, like a homemade silencer, suppressor, whatever you want to call it. Like, it looks like he has like, I don't know if he bought that or if he made it himself. I think they were saying that he made it like homemade. What the fuck is that long ass barrel? No, that's not a, that's not a barrel. That's a modification on the weapon. He grabs it. The 72 year old man goes for it again. Wait, there's another angle. I didn't know that there was another and angle. What? Hold on. We'll look at that in a second. He's just like trying to go after it. Meanwhile, this dude has the gun and is literally just going like, oh, here, right here. He's like, I'll shoot you. Like, I'll shoot you. Stop fucking fighting. That is a uh, Mac 11 or a Mac M11. It looks like a, like a Uzi. That's what that is. It has an extended magazine. Yes, he has absolutely infinitely more restraint than a police officer, 100%. You can see Tran walk into a small room just off the lobby. He's carrying an assault pistol with an extended magazine, and the gun has a large silencer on it as well. Moments later, Tran is confronted by Brandon Sai. The two exchange a few words, and then Sai charges at Tran. The two men fight violently in the lobby until Sai... That's crazy. He could have fucking died right in that moment. He doesn't know. He doesn't know what the fuck's going on. But unfortunately, it doesn't Even end there. There's another mass shooting that occurred in Half Moon Bay, California. Seven people have died. Up to those reeling from the Monterey Park attack, word came of yet another mass shooting also in California, this time in the city of Half Moon Bay. 
67-year-old Zhao Chongli was arrested after allegedly killing seven people at two separate farms in the area. Carter Evans went to Half Moon Bay yesterday right after the shooting. Carter, good morning to you. This is where deputies took the suspect into custody. And you know where we are? We're at the local sheriff station. So the sheriff says after shooting in two different locations, the suspect drove here, parked his car in the parking lot, and waited. What, what's up? Like, he just wanted to give the cops a dub or something? Like, what's going on? Hands up, hands up, hands up. With guns in hand, deputies close in on the 67-year-old shooting suspect. Damn, man, cops are fucking, they're, they're killing it. They did it. Only time cops can apprehend a suspect. Yeah, the other guy, he fucking, he got stopped by a good guy with no gun. And then the cops found him. And then he killed himself in his car. This guy goes to two different areas, shoots him up, and then drives over to the fucking sheriff's station. Seconds what later, the fuck? they've got him on the ground, surrounded, hands cuffed. You know this shit is not that dangerous, I guess, when you have a cameraman that's right there. What the fuck is happening there? It happened in the coastal community of Half Moon Bay. The gunman allegedly went to a mushroom farm and opened fire. There, officers say he shot five people, killing four of them. He then drove less than 10 minutes away to another farm where the sheriff says he shot and killed three more people. We are working at trying to gather more information uh, to figure out what the connection was uh, to these victims. The shooter is believed to be an employee at one of the farms, and for now, authorities say he's cooperating. All of the evidence we have points to this being the instance of workplace violence. The Mountain oh. Mushroom Farm, the first location, is where the subject was employed. I mean, that one makes more sense. It was already out of control, but like, it's absurd. Why doesn't America do anything at this point? I don't get it. Yeah, well, I mean, it's America. It's a fundamental right. That one, it's such a fucking weird way to do commentary on an issue like this, but like, that makes more sense. Like a workplace violence. Workplace violence is a, a thing is like super commonplace in America. Obviously, people have a fuckload of guns and therefore the first place that they go back to when they're having a violent outburst, like one in uh, Walmart happened recently recently as well over the holiday season if you remember i mean it, the, there was a term for it called going postal oftentimes people younger people go to their schools and shoot up their schools older people go to their place of work and shoot up their place of work no it's not it's not workplace bullying i mean it can be in some instances but ultimately the common tread or a uh, common tread common thread if you want to look at it from like a broader perspective the common thread in all of this is basically feeling anxiety and anger anger and frustration and snapping basically for one reason or the other and obviously access to weapons ease at ease of access to an arsenal turning around and unloading on not necessarily the systems or someone in a position of power but instead whoever the fuck you can uh that because the workplace is oftentimes like uh the the manifestation of the anxieties that you feel the anger that you feel the frustration that you feel so you unleash the violence uh onto your immediate vicinity it's just like the most american thing the whole thing about school shooters doing it because they were bullied is a myth too yeah no usually school shooters are doing it because not necessarily because they were bullied but because a school is a uh, a place of like authority when you're younger the school is a place of authority for you so you just go back and like unleash that uh, that absolute uh, violence back at like this place of authority that uh, you feel uh, controls your life. Same with the workplace. Now, obviously, uh, there is no one identifiable factor in this. This is my personal speculation I, I will admit and yes there have been instances where like mass shootings happen in in like random areas or whatever but ultimately like uh for example the guy who was going into like every massage shop and shooting people that work there right that guy had an anti-women slant he thought feminism and women are responsible for his trials and tribulations that he's experiencing in society and he wanted to let out his frustration upon women that was like his primary target the one yeah the famously the one that uh, the cops he was having a bad day. The El Paso shooter went to Walmart. The Buffalo shooter went to a convenience store in a black neighborhood. The El Paso shooter went to El Paso Walmart specifically with the desire of killing brown people, okay? Mexican people. Because he 
and the other fucking uh, Buffalo shooter as well thought that immigrants were were ruining America. Like they had the the they were controlling the country. Like the most marginalized uh, people in society were uh, the ones who were like actually causing his his awful existence. I guess like his feelings of awfulness. Yeah, this seems like uh again this is all speculation at this point, but uh, an educated guess in this circumstance looks like a workplace violence situation, which is unfortunately all too common. But I don't know. I don't know if that's uh, if that's the case or not. There isn't enough information on it.